Hi! It is really late, and I should probably be editing and stuff, but I realized that I didn't check the east side fully when I checked it through for secrets, and I went to the, the part where you like go through the door to the boss, and I found something else, and I don't know, that just got me in the mood to actually play, so we're back here, I mean, I did it on a random other save, so this is like right where we left off, but yeah, there's like two more secrets to find in this area, and they shouldn't be, they shouldn't take very long to find, they should be quite easy, I know exactly where to go, I can just sort of skip all of this out, all of this stuff, and get all the way over here, kill this guy, and we can just completely, ow, come on now, you should be disabled, we can ignore this guy, he doesn't do anything, also, while I was just playing on my own, looking for secrets, I noticed how incredibly good, hold on, check this out, I got a new way to deal with these guys. That is my combo, and it's pretty sweet, so you just like slash once, do a charge attack, and then shoot with your revolver gun thing. Very consistent way to take those down, pretty nice, I like it. So now, let's kill these guys first, also, wait, did I... Did I pick the power up? Yeah, I do have it. Yeah, I... I realized how incredibly good this power is. It's so fucking good, this ability, where you can, like, hit things back. I was using it so much. Oh, right, I have to hit a switch over here. And... I don't know, I was like... I thought this would be kind of meh. I thought it was like, eh, whatever, you know, no one really cares. Watch out. And it would just, like, randomly happen sometimes, but holy shit, it's actually extremely good. Hold on, I'm gonna do... Oh my god, so many bullets. There we go. Okay, that's good. Now get across here. There we go. Yeah, it's actually very, very good. And it kind of lets you be safe from many things, like, for example, those, uh shuriken ninja frogs when when you're like right in their face and they're about to throw a shuriken at you you can just wail away because if they throw you will just hit the thing back in their face they can't like you can't damage them and they damage you at the same time so it's actually really really quite good i like it a lot damn it just shoot him and yeah up here is where i found the secret right here little symbol just go in here and now we are going down the rabbit hole, and there are crystals around, and they're fucking assholes. I think they must be my least favorite enemy in the entire game. Those tiny crystals, they are the worst. Oh, hi. Right, because I haven't killed that guy now. That's fine. There we go. And I can just shoot him. That's fine. And yeah, it's one of these diamonds. But not really anything else. No power up, no nothing. Well, that's three! Only one more in the west. And then we are actually done with that. I wonder if we can actually find the last one. There's one more secret that I have marked down to find, but I'm not sure if that's the one. This might just be a tiny secret. I don't quite know. We'll see. It would be kind of fun to find all eight triangle thingies. Like I said, fucking amazing combo. Though you can't always do it. Oh god. Nope. It's not always safe to do the combo. Especially not with these fucking crystal dudes hanging around. Nope, 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 nope. Leave me alone. Go away. Go away. Do your thing. There we go. Oh god. Alright, let's heal up. I guess I should have done that before. And now we're just back. Are there any healing kits here? No. Also, I experimented with, like, if you could align yourself right here and somehow shoot all the way across here, like this, 
and hit it, but I think your bullets probably have like a, a maximum distance or whatever range your your normal gun has. I'm not sure about this revolver thing, but I would imagine it does have a limit. So yeah, now we can just go up here towards the boss and right. This one was a bit strange. I actually don't really like this secret. We'll get to it. We will get to it. So it's in this dark area. We just need to make our way back. I don't quite remember exactly where, but I think it was around this area some somewhere. Like right here. Yeah, is, is that a secret? No, that's just a little pot. That's the thing, like... There is no indication here that there should be a secret here except this one light? But there are lights, like, everywhere, aren't there? Are there? I mean, there are no lights. No, like, here's a light. They're, they're a bit... here and there. But apparently, this light just signifies a secret. And it's a monolith. Right, it's not one of those, uh... Diamond square triangle things. That's too bad. Still don't know what the monoliths are all about. Like, what's their deal? No clue. But yeah, that's all I found in this area. I couldn't find anything else. I'm not sure if I've missed anything. As always, if you are actually watching this while I'm playing and you see something that I did not see, then feel free to let me know. So now, we can go back here. There was one more secret here. Actually, Two? One? There's at least one, and it's a pretty big one, as far as I could tell. So, we go in here, which I did not do last time. Got him. Pretty good. And yeah, I was pretty thorough looking around here, checking all the walls, even when they didn't have markers, so I don't think anything is here. But yeah, like, right now, fuck you guy, you can shoot all of those back, it's so fucking good. This power is the best. Like, I am so happy with this. And you can see, I'm like, not even really aiming, and the shots are just kind of almost homing a little bit. It feels like they kind of prioritize going towards the target that shot them. So it's like really, really simple to just use your, uh, god, I can't even hit anything now. It's really simple to use the enemy's shots against them. Except right now. Oh my god. Except when they're like being idiots and shooting nowhere. Oh well. It won't work all the time. Wait, hold on. There was a thing over here. This thing? Apparently, ah, yeah, this is closed off. This is kind of interesting. We'll we'll get to that in one moment. Ow, goddamn fucking fire. And yeah, I'm pretty sure I checked all of this pretty thoroughly. Get this one. Get up here. And now there's like a fight here. What? How did that not hit him? Come on. Like that. Did you see that? I hit him and swung at his shuriken right when he tossed it. Which meant I actually hit both him and the shuriken, knocking it back into him and thus doing two damage without even taking damage myself. It's really good. I severely underestimated this ability. It's probably one of the better ones, honestly. Like, I would probably pick this up way earlier now that I know how good it is. Like, for example, the dash attacks, I don't think you really need them, they're good. All the abilities are actually very good, and the the shield dash isn't really all that useful, because, I mean, also, you had to do that, you had to go off screen, ow, damn it, and then uh, come back, because otherwise you can't, like, unlock this left area. You need to fight two fights in here to unlock the left side. But yeah, what was I saying? And I think I can go down here. Right, the shield dash. I mean, it's good, but it's not really all that necessary. 
because you, you already have invincibility frames. Yeah, see? You can just get in here, and the thing is, like, unlocked. Very strange. Oh. Good job, guy. You saved me a lot of trouble. And again, really good for these guys, because you can just knock all of them back. Right here was a secret that I missed, and it's a key. Amazing. Now we have six, only two more, and then I can open, like, one more key door, or maybe two. Don't quite remember. Again, timing that makes me hit him and knock the thing back. Oh my god, I cannot overstate how much I love this power. It's fucking amazing. Also, watch out for the explosive. Oh, that was bad timing on my part. Like, it's so easy to hit things. Holy crap. I have seen the light. And right here is the other secret I found. A key door, and you need five keys. I three? I guess that's three. Yeah. Cool. So yeah, we could have opened this quite a long time ago. And yeah, I walk. Oh god, I uh, went in here, just a little quick, quick peek, and saw all of this, and went like, oh my god, okay, this uh, big area. It seems to be, because I could see like one power up. Hold on, if we go down, back here. There's one power-up right here that I haven't gotten to, which I'm hoping is through this door. But there's also a power-up I saw to the right here. So this area seems to have quite a lot of stuff in it. Ow, damn. Fuck all of you. Get reflected. And a heal is always nice. No symbols. Oh, damn it. Yeah, right here is a thing. And I guess I have to disable that... ...thingy security system to get to that. So am I looking for a button, maybe? Well, here's another one. Again, like, so many power-ups in this area. There's, like, at least three. And... I can't stand on this. Huh, I thought that was, like, in the foreground or... Whatever. Okay. That didn't hit anyone. There we go, that's better. Still not great, though. Bye! And that's it. And I don't see any secrets. Can't stand on that lily pad. Ah, here's a switch. I see. So you don't turn off the security system, you just walk around it. Yeah, let's just make sure there's nothing around here. That's where you found the key, so that's nothing. But yeah, two power-ups already, and then there's this as well. I'm assuming you go up to the left. Let's get that. Oh, you can go right as well. Oh, God! Um, oh, that's weird. It, like, stops here. I thought I was dead for sure. Holy crap. But yeah, obviously you can go left as well. That's pretty straightforward. Oh, I should have seen that coming. Healing kit, why not? And yeah, you can do that. Not sure if you can do this with a without the dash power. I mean, no, it's like one block. I thought maybe it was two, but it's just a single one. So yeah, you probably need the dash power up to get this. And can't see anything else, but over here, power up again. Oh, damn it. Is there another one? Are we getting four for one? Four power-ups in a single... single area, single key door? There's a switch. 
And it makes some platforms back to the the place. I don't want to go back there. What's the point? Oh, it's one of those. Yeah, right. I was gonna say it's the last one, but it's not because we have only like six or something in this area. Just gotta make sure I check for secrets and walls and stuff. And another switch. Oh, damn it. Yeah, okay, that should take me to the triangle. Still don't know what to call them. Right here. Yep, I need one more. One more, and I cannot find it. I've not seen anywhere else in this area that you could go. Except that one key door, but behind the key door, as far as I could see- Oh, more dudes. As far as I could see, there was only like... Yep. Oh my god, this power. This fucking power. I can feel the power. It's so good. Now, what was I saying? Yeah, there was a key door, but that was only for like one cosmetic thing, like a new outfit, and not anything else, as far as I could see anyway. Maybe there was something more to it, but it's kind of strange. I have not seen any other places that look promising, so I might have to leave this for now. Well, right, there was that one, like, weird... the, like, switch that you couldn't shoot. It was like a switch that you had to... Like, you shot and then just made a noise and nothing happened, so I'm not sure about that. Maybe that is something. Maybe we'll get to that. Maybe we will get the grappling gun or some specific gun that can actually trigger them. Or maybe it's just something that I'm just completely missing and you have to do in a specific way. But yeah, that's about it for the east side and the west side. So now we can finally go back north. Oh man, I would kind of like to complete these stupid secret hunting things this episode, but I don't know. I don't know about that. Let's see. First screen from town, secret switch next to tree. Right, I remember where that is. Let's go there. I'm not even sure how I missed this one. This one is really obvious, but I was just not paying attention. Right there. Switch here. And it's a power-up. I got it. And we can actually buy a new thing now. But I don't think I'm going to. Because what would I want? Only guns and healing. And I don't really want to get more healing right now. And as I said, I want to, like, save my power-ups for when I have more guns to choose from. Because I don't know which gun I really want to get more ammo for. I haven't really felt like ammo is a problem anyway. So I'm just going to hold on to them for now. And then maybe we'll, like, upgrade... A bunch of guns when we get them. Alright, second screen. Upright switch. To monolith. Okay, I shouldn't have taken that. Upright. Oh, right, yeah, this is also a very obvious one that I just completely missed. Right here is a secret and a platform and a switch. And it leads to a monolith. I wonder if, like, getting all of these is gonna, like, alter the ending or something. And if so, do I even want to do it? Because I won't know what the difference is. And then right here is another secret, and it's like nothing. And oh my god, what the hell? But you just hit with your sword, and you break a thing, and it's another power-up token. Okay. Uh, giant staircase, right? Okay, so here's the... Next screen is the giant staircase. And there's that door. Oh no, is it another screen? Do I go through the, the cave first? I don't remember. Yeah, we need to move on for now at least. And as I said, I'm running through this, but I have been as thorough as I possibly could while looking through all this all of these areas, so I'm just going through until I find the point where I actually found something. 
I'm gonna try to ignore these guys, because they're kind of annoying. Oh, damn it. So it was a couple screens more. Is it this one? Still no? There's that one screen with like... Yeah, here it is. Giant staircase. Okay, right. I remember now what I noted this down about. This secret over here. I actually found this one. And I was like, oh, secret marker. Went in here. And then there's another... That. There's another secret marker here. But I thought that was just like, oh, moving on. You know, sort of showing you, follow me. Come in here. But nope. This is apparently a switch. And it takes you to another secret. And this one... Right. Um... Oh no, yeah, this is a this is a smaller one. This is just a switch. Cause the next secret is what the hell? Is apparently quite big, or it seems quite big anyway. So there we go. Can't see anything else here. Ow, damn it. Yeah, that's a bit weird, that bug where like if you're very low on the screen or like near the edge of the screen your character don't actually doesn't actually like do the this animation where he stops to not run off a ledge like an idiot now we can just teleport up here and yeah i guess this is kind of the last episode of the secret hunting secret harvest because this next one is still a secret, but it seems to be a little bit bigger. We'll see. And then I can just get back to actually doing stuff. So again, it was over here where we actually saw a thing, but I just failed to notice. You go down here, and right there, secret marker. So you just have to... What? Where am I? I think... Yeah, there we go. Walk down here. And there's a power-up, and you think, oh man, that's the end of the secret, but no, oh no. It continues down here. And there's like this ominous staircase. And this is where I stopped because I figured, oh man, this like leads onward for a long time. Anything behind here? Apparently not. Nothing to the left. Oh, shit! What? It's the starting screen! Why? Why would we want to go back here? What's the point? Oh! Oh, Jesus Christ! I just realized! Wait! How- what- what's gonna happen here? Because, you know... We were here the first time and went through the, like, tutorial area, and then we, like, collapsed. And the superhero guy, role model guy, saved us and took us to outside town, right? So we can now go back there and get to where we actually, like, collapsed and maybe go onward. Holy crap, that's really cool. And wait, this is just, like, a se hold Y to take items. Thanks, tutorial. I didn't know that. And this is all, like, optional? Oh man, that's so awesome. Alright. Let's move on here. And see what we can find. Also, I think I'm just gonna do this. I'm going to... Oh, and yeah, it switched back to fucking... Uh, controls, Xbox controls again. It just does that, apparently, every, every time. I already have it, yeah. I, I was gonna say I was gonna switch out the shotgun because I don't really use the shotgun anymore. Yes, the shotgun does have more damage than the revolver, but it's less damage efficient, I believe. And you also have to be so close for it. This one is way more flexible and still does a pretty hefty chunk of damage. So I actually prefer this gun overall, I think. And then just having the normal pistol is kind of nice for a... Uh, just general, like, if you want to shoot something at range, just a, a switch or whatever. Yeah, here we go. Can't go anywhere down there. 
Over here? No? Oh, like right there, I should have just used my normal gun, but oh well. Not like it really matters. Ah, sure, lift the switch. Oh, what? I shot past the box? I didn't even know that was possible. I thought you had to, like, break it. And no secrets, from what I can tell. We can go left now, can we? Right, I did do this, right? Yeah, and it's like closed now. Okay. No checkpoint? No autosave? I was hoping for an autosave. Well, I think I'm just gonna end it on a cliffhanger here. And next time, we'll go up and see what happens when we get to the place where I initially collapsed and couldn't continue on from. So, hope you're extremely frustrated about that. So you'll come back for sure next time. Haha, -ha, gotcha. But yeah, thanks for watching. That is the end of the eternal secret hunt, at least. And now we're doing stuff that is new. And then we'll just go back to the north area after we're done with this. I have no idea. Maybe this is like where you get the the sixth gun because there's only five guns that you would get normally. I don't know. We'll see. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.